Residents of a row of buildings in Tokawa were evacuated from their homes this morning. This after reports of rocking vibrations that lasted more than 10 minutes. Tokawa on May 16, 2013, three old buildings on Maystone Road, Hong Kong were shaking mysteriously, causing widespread disquiet among residents nearby. These buildings are located close to the construction sites of MTL Shatin Central Link. The shaking was allegedly due to the underground diaphragm wall construction taking place at that moment. Soon, the disquiet is no longer confined to Maystone Road, but spread along the railway line. Residents living near MTL underground construction sites share the same worry that similar shaking will take place in their home. However, the MTL Corporation claimed the vibration causing the shaking was only at 2.69 mm per second strong, well below the government's tolerable magnitude, 5 mm per second. Both sides have its own story, and a hush arises. Residents worry does not come without reason. Hong Kong is a cosmopolitan city, densely populated and highly urbanized. Underground constructions in urban areas are common. Experienced engineer Dr. Greg Wong said construction of diaphragm walls, which is essential to all underground construction, will inevitably cause vibration. With weak and aged foundation, all buildings next to underground construction sites are particularly fragile to structural damage caused by vibrations. No doubt, vibration is not overlooked in areas around underground construction sites. However, the current practice for monitoring vibration is very expensive, which requires high-cost equipment and long labor hours. In Maystone Road and nearby, most of the vibration regulatory work took place before construction starts. Vibration in more than 150 points is predicted, but only five are measured. The incentive to set up monitoring points is very low. In recent years, railway network expands rapidly in Hong Kong. Currently, four major underground railway construction projects are taking place. And in China, the expansion is even in higher speed. At least 18 cities started their ground underground plan from scratches. And countless cities are expanding their existing metro network. All these draw our attention to the urgent need for a way which can monitor and record vibration at low cost. Finally, we come up with this, the Y-Box, a revolutionary device which changed the way people measure vibrations. Y-Box is a vibration detector and recorder which can be ubiquitously installed. It comprises an accelerometer which senses the vibration, which is commonly used in our smartphones as motion sensors. It also contains a microcontroller for processing data from accelerometer and an EEP ROM for data storage. Y-Box is so small and light that it brings little worry about installation. Its dimension and weight is just similar to a wallet. Simply apply adhesives and stick the Y-Box to the vibrating surface, it will function perfectly. It is so small and so light that no tedious wall mounts is needed to fix it on wall. Before we create Y-Box, we identified that cost influenced vibration detection a lot. The high equipment and labor costs make vibration detection scarce. Our device addresses this problem impressively. When designing and engineering, we always keep costs in our mind. We finally come up with a design which costs only 9 US dollars, compared to the equipment now using which costs 7,000 US dollars, Y-Box costs just a trifle.
white box as a revolutionary device. We no longer need expensive equipment and a technician. All we need is white box and periodic extraction of data by the user. The cost of white box is so little that builders can afford many many sensors and have an eye on wider regions around the construction site, monitoring vibrations for roughly. Once identified a region prone to vibrations, builders can mitigate the problem immediately to prevent any consequences, which may hinder the whole construction process. Also, with more monitoring points, builders can gain public's confidence by showing great consideration for neighboring buildings and public safety. Wi-Box is so cheap and so easy to install that every apartment resident can afford a vibration sensor in their own home. They can safeguard their home by knowing its structural conditions and risks before them. Vibration detection is transformed into a whole new level. It is attainable and affordable to everyone. With Wi-Box, both builders and residents can monitor the effects of construction sites to buildings nearby. They have a clue to understand the reason why vibration occurs and why some strange defects appear. Wi-Box can also be a source of evidence in case of legal litigations. Like all popular devices, Wi-Box has infinite possibility. Wi-Box can be further equipped with wireless connection to transfer vibration data into a database. The data can be processed and to predict how the vibration affects the building structure. Inspired by the worried residents in Maystone Road, we plan to generate a set of vibration benchmarks from statistics and experiments. So residents can refer to the data from white box to the benchmarks to know if the vibration is dangerous to their home. In creating white box, we are not just hoping to help Maystone Road residents. We wish to create a revolution in defects detection and to safeguard all buildings in highly urbanized cities. Our city needs metro and she also needs safety. How to balance it? Wi-Box has provided part of the answer. Wi-Box, simple but powerful.